Thank you for clicking on the video tonight. It's with a very heavy heart that I bring this video. For a very sad reason, United States Navy released on Instagram, I'm sure as other outlets, um, more information about the incident that happened a couple days ago in the collision with a, with a merchant vessel, a freighter, with the uh, USS Fitzgerald. If you didn't know, several sailors were injured and several were missing. Well, approximately an hour ago at 8.15 p.m. on Father's Day, June the 18th, 2017, United States Navy released this on Instagram. U.S. Navy. We. Hashtag honor the fallen. Hashtag USS Fitzgerald. Sailors. The remains of seven U.S. Navy sailors previously reported missing were located in flooded berthing compartments after divers gained access to the spaces June 18th that were damaged when DDG-62 was involved in a collision with the Philippine flag merchant vessel ACX Crystal. The deceased are Gunner's Mate Seaman Dakota Kyle Rigsby, 19, from Palmyra, Virginia. Yeoman 3rd Class Shingo Alexander Douglas, 25, from San Diego, California. Sonar Technician, 3rd Class, Gokti Trong Hoon, 25, from Oakville, Connecticut. Gunner's Mate, 2nd Class, No Hernandez, 26, from Alaska, Texas. Fire Controlman, 2nd Class, Carlos Victor Gonzon, Sabayan, 23, from Chula Vista, California. Personnel Specialist, 1st Class, Xavier Alec Martin, 24, from Heliothrope, Maryland. Fire Controlman First Class Gary Leo Ram Jr., 37, from Elria, Ohio. The incident is currently under investigation. For those that don't know, different jobs in the Navy, ratings. These folks worked in separate parts of the ship during their day-to-day -day activities. More than likely as an outsider looking at this, having no knowledge of it, they came together in this birthing compartment because they were probably part of a damage control team sent into that compartment to shore it up to stop the flooding to keep other sailors from dying to keep from losing the ship this is the harsh reality of our military every one of us that has served we all knew signing on the dotted line and swearing the oath that we may have to lay our lives down may not be in a gunfight, it may be something simple as this that could save hundreds of other people. For whatever reason, they were not able to extricate themselves out of that birthing compartment. And our hearts and prayers go out to the family, and especially to the fathers on this day, especially Father's Day, who lost their sons, and anyone who may have lost their sons and daughters in the line of duty. A small consolation to this is you can know that they gave their all, and they accomplished what they set out to do. Not only did they save the ship, they saved every other sailor, from enlisted to officer, good and bad and otherwise, that was on board that ship at the same time. They did so their own free will, regardless of what contract they may have. In our hearts and prayers go out to all those who knew them. They were their family members that served with them. You will never be forgotten. Drink to the foam, my shipmates. Your tortures are over. You're in a good place now. You accomplished everything you set out to do. Thank you.